This is DC Denton Crow Crusader. Uh, it's the 17th of September. Our little pigeons are already waiting. Uh, as if the day doesn't get worse. Our little Millie had a terrible, had a terrible uh, seizure last night. And uh, a lot of blood came out of his mouth. And I'm on my way now to the vet because we need to check that out. And it was just terrible. I uh, laid with him for two hours in bad shape. And uh, then he slowly recuperated. This time it took him much longer to recuperate. And then I had to go out in the middle of the night and bury our poor little crow. He's buried with two other members of his flock, another poisoning, and, uh, and one crow who was shot in the head. And here that I found in, in this underground parking lot that you see there. Uh, you know, I know who did that. I know who's been doing all of this, at least a great part of it. Not all, but a great part of it, and continues to do it because he knows he can't get caught by poisoning up on the rooftop. I can't get up there to set a camera. I'm not allowed to use a drone. And the district attorney said I have to actually see him throw down poison. Now how in the hell am I going to do that and catch him in the act? Really? And connect the two. That it's poison, it has to be analyzed, catch him in the act, okay, on top of the rooftop. All right? I mean, it's an, it's an impossibility. And the district attorney knows it. And the police know it. So anyone who's asked the question, um, why I have, I have. And there was an investigation launched here three years ago. Because I brought them dead birds and I brought them nine samples of poisoned food and it was so poisoned so full of pesticides that the policeman had to put it in another room because it's dunk like a I don't know like a, a bag of fertilizer and, and oh it was terrible and all sorts of chemicals it smelled like a chemical factory and being that I am that I do not trust these people I uh, took my own, took two of those samples, part of those samples, and sent them to LA since I had an engineering company in uh, Silicon Valley for 20 years and uh, was very much linked up with a, a woman who owned her own analytical labs, which we used um, in our line of work. And even though she's retired, uh, the two samples that I sent overnight, express, she had them analyzed. And they were indeed uh, a poisonous. A poisonous uh, fertilizer had been put uh, on, the, uh, on the bread. Very hard to detect. A specialized room that only uh, farmers can get. Or perhaps uh, janitors may have access to a friend, a farmer. Anyway, after a close to a year investigation, I was told there was no evidence. All nine samples came through totally clear. There was no poisoning. No poisoning. And I just want to tell you, the depth of the corruption here, you have no idea. Okay? So we called the laboratory to do the analytical, and they, and they stuck by it. They were in on it, all of them. Okay? So, you want to ask that question, why it must be impossible? No, oh, it's not impossible. Not in this hellish place. No, it is not impossible. 
I just lived through it. <sighs> okay? I was part of it, of this whole story. So no, no. How many times have our life been put in danger? We've been killed, tried to be run over with a giant uh, forklift. And the tracks are there, and, and all the evidence is there, and the police laugh. And the farmer got off the hook, and we got a thousand franc fine for reckless driving, what trying to escape from him. He was trying to bash in our windows in our rental car. We were on our way to a sanctuary in Austria, and I stopped by to tell him his cows here. Can you imagine you put cows on the school here in the middle of the city here? If you can imagine that. Okay? Well, anyway, this is what you have. So, I spread this out more in a circle, try and keep pigeons away a little bit. Crows. Um, so there you go. There you go. Every time I file the complaint, and I've had have not had a video or a photograph. Um, the cell phone was in the back seat. We couldn't reach it. And Brian panicked and tried to escape before I could get a photo of him from his forklift. He would have killed us. The man is, that farmer is uh, very dangerous and has a dangerous reputation. Believe it or not, he owns a guest house on his, on his farm and, he, and a horse farm. Gives lessons, horse lessons, training. It's unbelievable, right? So, I buried this poor crow next to his members of his little flock, his brothers. And as always, this is an extremely sad, very, very sad thing. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say. There are too many, too many crows hanging around uh, on the rooftop. That tells me that someone's throwing down something on the rooftop. I'm gonna open this up so Millie can look at the birdies. Look at the birdies. Look at that. Look at the little birds. Huh? So little Millie. 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 Oh, babies. Yeah, I haven't pretty much covered up so it's warm and the car is warm. I won't leave the door open too long. I don't want him to get a chill. He's still recuperating from his seizure. But uh, look at that. Let's say I spread it around. Um, hopefully, this will keep the birds a little bit more isolated from each other. Because you never know. You never know. Sometimes disease mimics signs of poisoning. Uh, they affect, affect the uh, respiratory tract. So you never know. Am I 100% sure it was poisoning? Considering how fast he went down, I would say yes. But I can't 100% rule it out. It could also be... Uh, It could also be disease. We just don't know. Bird flu, no. Uh, crows get other viruses. Um, so we don't know. We just don't 100% know. But it looks like it was poisoning. It is the way that when he died, his whole body was uh, all in um, all in a I should say the legs were bent up. It was like he was in excruciating pain. And his, his whole body just seized up. And, and I've witnessed that in birds that have been poisoned. That's why I say that. And the fact that he went down so fast. 
um, and the way that he walked on the field. He kept falling side to side. And that's, that's one of the first symptoms. And then they can't fly anymore. And this is exactly what happened here. But you can't rule it out 100%. Okay? So, but to me, it looks like poisoning. To my bird man, it looks like poisoning. So, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. Okay? So, we're going to get on our way. The little crows will get the rest of their cashews. And see, there's not many crows here. Should be a lot more considering how cold it is. But, and then hanging out on the roof, very few. Very few birds. So it tells me one thing. Georg Schmidt is, uh, is still continuing to poison on the rooftop. And I cannot catch him. I cannot get him uh, without the proper tools. And I'm not allowed to have those tools. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Uh, unless I trespass, and I just don't know how to get up there. I couldn't get up there with some equipment to the very top of the shopping center. Everything's locked. There's no way of getting up there. I just don't know how to do it. And without that, planting a camera, without doing 